Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. We're in uh, Palos Verdes, California, Palos Verdes Estates, and I'm with Albert. Albert, say hi. Hi. Today, we're doing a tile reset of a vintage Boral Clay S uh, tile roof. Albert, why do you want to do a tile reset instead of replacing it with a brand new roof? Well, I think first, the, the, the tiles were in relatively good shape, most of them. They were in excellent and, shape. And uh, I was looking to save some money, so I followed Bob Robert's uh, recommendation. <laughs> he promised me that he would not break too many tiles, and, and he we has did not it. broken We them. did it, that's yeah, good. So everything is going fine so far. Well, that's excellent. So we're using a Boral tile, clay S tile as a replacement tile. And is that one of the main reasons why you wanted to do the tile reset is because well, you knew that we could that, find a good replacement? Yes, I think important uh, and a good match to what we have was very critical. So I think I'm, I'm glad that the house will look very good after you're done, hopefully. Hey, <laughs> I know it it's going to look gorgeous. <laughs> Write it to do Albert's uh, uh, project. There's a lot of different things to it. It's pretty much straightforward, but we had a couple different things with the built-in uh, gutters that we need to address that we I think we've yeah. gotten all figured out with I, the drains. I think so. You know, I'm, I'm, although the job is not finished, I'm very happy that I picked Robert among very, very stiff competition to do this job. He, uh, he's uh, very particular with details. He's a perfectionist, a bit like I am myself. And uh, there is no issue really that we have not been able to solve, talk, talk through them and find out the solution and listen to his recommendations. And 99% uh, of the time he has been right so far. So. Well, hey, I love those. <laughs> I love that percentage. And hey, and it is really difficult to choose someone to do your job. You got a lot of people, you could have got Absolutely. a referral from this, Absolutely. referral from that. And it really means a lot to us because we really love what we're doing and we're so excited about doing his project. And I know that we're gonna do a fantastic job. So here's the wood over here that we're using for the replacement for the uh, dry rot and termite damage. How'd you like the color of the wood, it Albert? Looks, the, the fish that looks very good. I like that, that color. That, uh, it, it, and, uh, looks like you picked the right place and the right wood. So well, I'm we use glad. a specially pre kiln dry spruce, two by six, and it's just gorgeous. They suck out all the water, so when you hang it and the sun comes and it gets wet, it's not gonna warp or twist or do weird stuff. We know that most of the water has been sucked out, and so it's gonna keep its integrity or its look, and we're excited about that. So we're looking forward to getting going on hanging the fascia board. I'm sure Albert's gonna be up there on the roof with us <laughs> through it, checking everything I out. I keep an eye on them, but just to learn, mainly. and. Uh... But so far, it's, things are going very well. And as you can see, these are full length boards so that we won't have any uh, joints uh, that you can see from the street like we had before the fascia That's board. right. Well, you, you know, part of the thing was they had a fascia board over here. As you can see it right here, we already took it out. And it was, it had a couple pieces. So we're using 20 foot boards, as you can see from right here. We're using the 20-footers to make sure that we got a full length going all the way across. So anyways, okay. That so should we're be very good. Good. Okay. We're going to catch up to you guys in a bit. Albert, thank you so much. You're welcome, It's been Robert. fun, and we look forward to doing this more up on the roof. Now we got to get all the boards a light sand and paint it. See you next time. Great. Bye.